Our priority must be public safety. And I will take whatever action is necessary and effective to protect the security of our people and our country. That includes full authority for the police to use whatever force is necessary to protect and save life, as they did last night, as they did in Westminster in March. You cannot protect the public on the cheap. The police and security services must get the resources they need, not 20,000 police cuts. Theresa May was warned by the Police Federation, but she accused them of crying wolf. As Labour has set out in our manifesto, we will recruit another 10,000 new police officers, including more armed police, who need to be properly rewarded, as well as 1,000 more security service staff to support our communities and help keep us safe. But it is the timing of yesterday's attack that we must also address today. The aim of the terrorists is plainly to derail our democracy and disrupt or even halt this election. The general election is, of course, about the democratic choice between Labour and Conservative parties and our very different visions and plans for the future of our country. But it's also now about something even bigger. It's about the struggle between terrorism and democracy itself. The mass murderers who brought terror to our streets in London and Manchester want our election halted. They want our democracy halted. They want their violence to overwhelm our right to vote in a fair and peaceful election to go about our lives freely. That is why there can be no doubt that next Thursday's vote must go ahead. 